see the love of God for us, but to perceive the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit's involvement in all of this? The Holy Spirit is the one that the Father sent to reveal God's reality. So that he can make God's love for you and the grace of Jesus Christ, he can make that your reality. He can make that something that you can perceive. He can make that something that you can fully experience. However, listen to this, everything in the kingdom is relational before it's functional. Everything in God's kingdom is relational before it's functional. So if you want to experience the reality of God's love and grace, live a life in this fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Fellowship with the Holy Spirit. It will fill you with the awareness of God's presence so you can perceive Him. It will fill you with an awareness of who you are, who we are in Him. It will fill you with the awareness of of who you are in God's kingdom. The Holy Spirit will fill you with the revelation so that you can perceive, you can perceive His reality. You can execute in the Spirit spiritual words from here. You can release words to change the situation here. And when the words are released in this realm, it will manifest in time in this realm. Amen? You can begin to live a life just like Christ. Christ in you and Christ for you. To draw and draw into a close, I declare today that as you fellowship with the Holy Spirit, the love of God will become a reality that you will begin to perceive, experience and live from. I declare that as you fellowship with Him, the Holy Spirit, the grace of Jesus Christ will become a, a tangible reality that you begin to perceive and experience and live from. Amen. 2021 is the year, I believe, what one prophet said, is the year of the tongue. We have to start agreeing with what God has said and is saying. If you think about what 2020 has done, it has tried to hide our ability to speak by putting a face over our mind. In the realm of the spirit, there are some things that happen in the natural that point to realities in the spirit. And the, this has been all that's been happening in 2021, 2020. It's connected, I believe, to some kind of agenda where the enemy is seeking to close our mouth, to keep us quiet, to keep us subdued, to keep us restrained, to keep us as if. But, just like Abraham, we need to start to speak and keep on speaking what God has said, what God is saying from this prayer. So that we take the prayer, we take the prayer. Keep on speaking who you are. Tama la 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 shoka la 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 kashia la la la. Vazatai le bia la la la. Rasu, rosoto, le bia la la la. E kasa kasi si kento. Begin to speak even now who you are. You begin to speak what God has said about you. Whatever you can remember. Um, just, just take a pause and think, what has God said to me? What has God promised me? What is God saying of me? The Holy Spirit, bring to their memories. To those that are here and those that are connected um, um, through Facebook, I'm asking that you would remind, remind them. Remind them what you said. Remind them what you're saying. If some of you, it might be something that God last told you to do. To do do it. Some of you, it may be promises that God has said to you years ago and like Abraham yeah, the, the, the challenge is to keep on speaking what God said. I'm the father of many nations. Hallelujah. For some of you, you might be feeling like there is contrary evidence that you're being flooded with. You can ask the Lord, Lord I acknowledge I've been speaking in inferiority but I'm changing my mind. I'm changing the way I think. And now I'm going to start speaking where I am in Christ, that I am a new creation. If I'm not, if, and, he, and in Christ I am not sick. In Christ I am not poor. For God meets all my needs according to the glories of His riches in Christ Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Start to speak, even now, just say something. Say something. I'm not asking to speak loudly, but you can say something. Open your mouth and start to speak. And, oh, and even if you don't know what to say, say, Holy oh, Spirit, give me the words to speak. Give me, help me to think. Look, it might be that in this time, the Holy Spirit just might give you a picture, or it might give you a prompter, or it might remind you. Ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, bring to light, invade me with your perception, invade me, invade my perception with this reality, invade my perception with where I am in God, what I have in God, what I can do, because where I am here, what I can do here, the enemy cannot take away, the powers of darkness cannot, cannot remove, fill my awareness with this reality. So that I can release it, so that my body can conform to it, my creation can conform to it, my environment, the demons will sub submit to it, and I can live a life like Jesus Christ. But as He is, so am I.